It can happen in seconds, and sometimes a sheriff's deputy has just as long to react. And in this case, he had to shoot to protect somebody else. It's just a scenario that the Washington County Sheriff's Office is using to teach recruits when to use lethal force. The intense training to keep you safe is the last part in our uh, month-long series here called Deputy Deficit. How about a ham sandwich? Inside a phony restaurant. Jump the gun, jump the gun, jump the gun! A fake fight breaks out. We, had a, we have a victim. And Brad Johannesson shoots first. Okay, backup's on the way. The 43 year old is a recruit putting his defense tactics training to the test. You get amped up, but you try to breathe um, and just go through it um, and uh, do what you've been trained. Um, so it kind of comes naturally. The confrontation simulations mimic real life scenarios that in this case. Drop the bat! Drop the bat now! is an assault at a school to help build skills that recruits then show their instructors in a safe environment. If you really go home and you think about it like, you know, what, are, what you did wrong, what you need to improve on, um, and then you go through it again and, you know, training and stuff like that kicks in. So I, I definitely think it's a huge advantage doing these. So what does that? Besides to protect someone else. Uh, to me, you're going to impose lethal force. Or... Trainers teach recruits it's legal to use lethal force to protect yourself to make an arrest and to prevent an escape. In my case, there you go. I had never held a handgun before. Shoot him? Yes, ma'am. I'm not shooting him. Yes, ma'am. Much less fired one. He's already made a conscious decision to do something. You're going to react to whatever he does. So we're kind of behind that power curve already. Now, I'm not justifying what we do, but I just want you to see that timing. Uh, Jennifer Hoff with the Sheriff's Office. Every single time, the bad guy beat me to it. So this is where I do a debrief. And it's yes, not it just because yes. I'm a novice. You always hear how fast and how quickly you have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can convey that to your average person unless you do that. Hold that speed, hold that speed. Recruits also required to learn fast driving techniques. And there are three things they need to know. Match speed, make contact, and input strength. It's that easy. The intense training takes up to six months, and if you're hired, 18 more months of probation. As the population grows, we need to hire more deputies so that we can provide the same quality service that we have been providing. But in Washington County, 50 deputies are also eligible to retire. And if they were, say they were mostly in one division, it could be crippling. So Sergeant Massey was put in charge to find new ones to keep you safe. In the 80s, statewide, there was a huge hiring for law enforcement and because of that um, there are also every other county is dealing with the same issues that we are and every other city police department is dealing with those issues so we are competing against them as well. Washington County has the highest salary compared to the other counties in the metro area along with special teams and benefits over here but in a year only 36 people started the hiring process when it should be twice as many and Sergeant Massey is on a mission to change that. It benefits everyone when we have good people, good, ethical, empathetic people out there working for the community that they're in. That benefits everyone. The recruitment process, it's kind of a long one. There are several steps in the hiring process, which we covered in our other two stories in this series that we posted on coin.com. That's where you can also find a link to the employment pages for every nearby county in our area. That's also hiring. We also posted Sergeant Massey, who you heard from in that story, her contact information there on our website. The next hiring cycle, by the way, in Washington County starts on March 3rd. Great.